The free fall tube is in essence a very tall, thin bell jar. There's a nozzle on the far right which you can connect to either a hand pump or a electric pump to evacuate the air. It comes with a tube to connect to the air pump. It also includes a metal coin and an artificial feather to use for the two experiments. In the old days this was referred to as the guinea and feather experiment. It basically has students investigate how objects fall when there's air resistance and then an experiment when there is absolutely no air resistance. So here we have the free fall tube. I have a little metal coin and a feather in there. So when I invert this, they do fall at different rates because the feather has more air resistance, so it's not going to fall as fast. What I'm going to do is attach a simple vacuum pump to the end of this. I'm just going to use a hand pump and then make sure that this nozzle is straight down so you can evacuate the air. And then I'm just going to pump the air out of this. So I'm going to lock the nozzle on the bottom so now I can remove the air pump and I still have a vacuum. And I would just show the kids, okay, I have a tube with a coin and a feather in there. Don't mention anything about it being a vacuum, but I asked them to explain how these two things can fall anywhere near the same rate. Now you release the nozzle on the bottom and you can do it with the feather on the bottom so they can see air is going in and then repeat the experiment. Now they will notice the feather falls significantly slower than it did before. Free fall tube is a great visual demonstration either for a classroom or a lecture hall for students to see the effect of air resistance on how an object falls. The great thing about this is, is you can take it apart and put in different objects and have the students make up their own investigations to see how a vacuum affects the falling of an object.